Apple's iCloud is the easiest way for third parties, including governments, to access all of your data, even the previously end-to-end -end encrypted data like iMessages. Seriously, let's talk today about why cloud storage can be unsafe and your files really aren't yours, followed by four phenomenal services to fix that, a couple honorable mentions, and of course, the number one service we recommend. It's a fun video, so get ready. First, why aren't Google Drive and the other mainstream providers safe? I mean, they use military-grade encryption after all. Well, that's because they still own the encryption keys, meaning while the data is safe from the world, they still have the key to access it. This means governments are able to tap on them and borrow the key, which happens more frequently than you might think. And they, of course, can access the data themselves at any time. It's just simply not yours. The cloud is just someone else's computer, and in the case with these providers, they control your data. But then end-to-end -end encryption comes along, where the encryption keys are now owned by you. This is commonly the term used for messaging platforms, but in the cloud world, you are more commonly hear it referred to as zero-knowledge encryption. If a service has this, it means only you control your encryption keys. The pro is no one can access your data except you, not even the service that has your data. The con is if you lose access to your credentials, you lose your data at our editor who did this very thing. So make sure to keep backups, people. Again, we're going to cover five services and two honorable mentions. There are no right choices and these are loosely based on our personal preference, so it's by no means a set list. Don't take the ordering too seriously. Let's go ahead and get started. Service five is Tresserit, which has more of an emphasis on businesses and even their personal plans are a bit more intense, starting at 500 gigabytes with the cheapest plan being over $10 a month, build annually. Tresset relies on predominantly a Trezor system, which are dedicated folders used for syncing. It seems geared towards desktop clients that integrate with your files directly. In fact, they require you to use their client to finish setting up your account, which I was very much not a fan of. I don't like downloading things. Something else, even with the steep cost, there's a five gigabyte file limit, five device limit, and up to two gigabyte sharing limit on their cheapest plan, which I find completely distasteful. The positives though, it works well. It has an overall polished interface and clients for all major operating systems. It has versioning, options for zero knowledge encryption, a fully mounted drive option, they're headquartered in Switzerland, and it does work. So this is a good option. Definitely my least favorite on the list, but privacy and security wise, it's still top tier and definitely something we feel comfortable recommending as one of our top five services. Service four is IceDrive, a UK based cloud provider with an emphasis on end users. Rather than the Trezor system, IceDrive focuses more on a mounted drive system for all major operating systems. They likewise rely on zero knowledge encryption and their pricing is a lot more fair than Trezorit, whose monthly plan is over twice as much with half the storage and has annoying limitations that IceDrive just simply doesn't believe in. They have a free plan to get started with, but it does not have zero knowledge encryption. That is a paid option. The clients were overall nice to use and I felt it was cleaner and more polished than Tresserit. Either way, there's a free 10 gigabyte plan, so there's no risk in giving it a shot. Just be aware you have to be on a paid plan for zero knowledge encryption. I was a major fan of IceDrive and it was one of my favorites that I looked at on this list. Service three was difficult for us to choose and it's mega. To start with why it was hard, it had quite the interesting turn of events in the past, leading many people to just dismiss it altogether. What we couldn't ignore though, is they offer zero knowledge encryption, which theoretically takes away you really needing to trust them very much. But the real separation here is Mega publishes all its source code for its clients. All of them, which is totally awesome. This means you can verify everything that's being done yourself. And because it is zero knowledge, there's a high degree of trust you can place in Mega or that you don't really need to place in Mega. Their free plan has beyond a generous start. Their clients are nice. They offer communication and other cool features directly integrated into the service. And they don't lie when they call themselves generous. I mean, Daddy Mega do treat its customers right. As much as we wanted to distrust Mega, it was actually previously an honorable mention in this video, uh, we had to throw it in the top three since the more we looked at it, it seemed like unironically it was a great option in a top three service that we could recommend to you. Service two is Proton Drive from the makers of Proton Mail and Proton VPN. In short, if you're looking for a Google Suite kind of replacement with an emphasis on user privacy, this is going to be the closest you'll get and it comes with your email, calendar, contacts, and drive storage with respective clients coming for all of those on all devices <laughs> sometime soon. Hopefully. The main issues right off the bat is it is a brand new service, freshly out into the public, and it's extremely limited on storage. You get to five, yes, five gigabytes of storage on their $4 a month plan and 20 for their visionary plan. 
Can't make this up. Storage is kind of It's also entirely web-based with no clients whatsoever, so you might be asking why it's even number two if it kind of sucks. Well, for one, Proton is incredibly trusted, if not the most trusted provider on this list so far. And we really did throw it in here, the main reason, with a perspective on its suite. If you're simply looking for the best strict cloud provider for your files, the other options so far are probably better for you. But if you're looking for a sweet alternative, like to get away from Google, this is where Proton really shines and offers a compelling product. Now, before covering our top service, we can't forget those honorable mentions. So let's do those before we cover service number one. Our first honorable mention is Cryptomator. Cryptomator is not a cloud provider. What it does is it lets you use iCloud, Google Drive, Dropbox, or whatever with end-to-end -end encryption, since it handles everything locally before it touches the respective cloud provider. It's a great option if you enjoy your cloud provider, but don't enjoy how they can access your data. It's just a good, free middle ground. Do proceed with caution and make sure you're keeping backups, as always, since Cryptometer is a third-party tool that can cause issues. Overall, though, it's a fantastic service, and we went ahead and sponsored them for their great work, which you should do too if you use and enjoy their service. Our second honorable mention is Crypt Drive, which is actually what we use for our entire surveillance report workflow. CryptPad is more of a Google Drive collaboration alternative with real-time collab features, some basic cloud storage options, everything is open source, and basic functionality is completely free. You should give it a shot since the free option is extremely generous. It's not great for strictly large amounts of data storage, but it's wonderful for document collaboration. And finally, our top service of the video is Nextcloud, which I'm sure many of you saw coming. The pros to Nextcloud, everything is open source, self-hostable, and it really does bring together all the pros of everything so far from a usability perspective. You can use Nextcloud mounted on your operating systems. You can just use the web client. It supports contacts, calendars, communication, email, collaboration, and really everything you would need integrated under the same roof. It really is like the ultimate Google replacement. It's nice, though definitely a bit buggy sometimes, and it's far from being a perfect replacement. The cons, as I just hinted at, I would not call Nextcloud a polished service. End-to-end -end encryption, funny enough, is still not a default and must be configured. And the big elephant in the room, Nextcloud is generally self-hosted, meaning you run it on something like a server yourself. So it is a lot more involved than the other options on this list. It's worth mentioning though, there are plenty of people who host Nextcloud for you and you can just pay them a monthly fee like a normal provider. Whichever direction you go, Nextcloud is just a fantastic option you should definitely know about. And that's our list. To recap, Tresserit, Drive, and Mega are all fantastic options if you're looking for strictly cloud storage with Mega and Ice Drive being our favorites. Proton Drive is nice if you're looking for a Google-like suite without too much of an emphasis on cloud storage. Cryptomator is a great middle ground option that works with your current cloud provider. Crypt Drive for real-time collaboration. And of course, Nextcloud for the overall ultimate option that really sums everything up. Keep in mind, you can use multiple services. Each of them have pros and cons, and every service on this list is free or offers a free plan or trial for you to give it a shot. As always, you'll find both an affiliate link and a normal link in the description for all services that we mentioned that have one. It's a great way you can support our content at no cost to you, and you always have both links to make that decision. It doesn't influence what we recommend. Don't forget our website has resources where we will eventually add these services and update them over time. There's also Privacy Tools IO, they're great. And don't forget, we we have a Patreon. You can see all our top patrons at the bottom with awesome benefits. And that is all for today. See everyone next time on TechLore.